Hey there, welcome back. Garrett here with DIY PBX. This is video 24, our final video. In the next couple of minutes, our head trainer Kent will wrap up our series of videos by telling you a little bit more about fail to ban, IP tables, and overall troubleshooting of your DIY PBX. Hey, it's Kent from DIYPBX.com again. This time I want to talk to you about security and specifically fail to ban and IP tables. I want to show you how to troubleshoot a couple things as well as how to get yourself out of the sticky situation of being banned. So here's an uh, SSH window, or a terminal window rather, and I'm going to SSH into my server. And as you can see, I can get in if I type in the right password. One moment, that's what most of this is going to be about. So I type in the right password, I'm into my server, and uh, once it gets all squared away, I can type in IP tables dash capital L space dash lowercase n. And you can see here's my IP tables rules. And you have all this stuff at the bottom for fail to ban. Now, fail to ban is a service that will monitor for failed authentication attempts and will ban IPs that are uh, trying to get in but aren't using the right password multiple times. Um, so if you need to open up your file, firewall for some reason, this provides an additional layer of protection. And I want to show you how it works. So I'm going to log out here. And I'm going to SSH in uh, multiple times, but I'm going to put in the wrong password. And that's the wrong password. Wrong password once more. Put in the wrong password again. And I believe I'm banned at this point. Let's give it one more sec. And I'm going to hit Control C. Let's try and get in, and you can see now the connection is just being refused. It's not even responding to me, uh, even though my IP is in the IP table. So, on your DIY PBX, if you go to the console, it's obviously a different IP than yours would be. So, in here, you can do your IP tables uh, dash capital L dash space dash capital uh, lowercase n. And once you get in there, you can see, look, I am, my IP address has been banned right here. And it's just not going to let me get in at all. Uh, I've already put the commands in here so you can see them, so you can see what's going on. Fail to ban dash client space status lets you see the jails that are configured for fail to ban. And you've got five jails right now. Here they are listed. I am in the SSH one, if you notice. So I'm in SSH-IP tables. So to unban my IP address, what I have to do is put in fail to ban dash client space set space SSH dash IP tables. That's the jail name. Unban IP and then my IP address. Once I have all of that in, then I can hit enter and it echoes my IP address. And if we do an IP tables lookup again, I am no longer banned. And if I try and get back in, you can see it's responding. And I put in my password, and I am in. Now, now that I'm back in, we'll let it do its thing. I could do it on either screen, but I just like this one better. So you have these different ones here. Fail to ban for FTP. Fail to ban for the PBX. Uh, GUI, this is your uh, DIY PBX front end. If you put in a wrong password multiple times trying to get to this screen, you would show up banned in this PBX GUI jail. If your phones were using the wrong password, you would see an IP banned in the SIP jail. And obviously, if you SSH in wrong, you're going to find it in the SSH jail. So those are very common uh, areas to look. If all of a sudden your phone stop working, especially every phone at a certain site, make sure that you are not banned somehow um, in the fail to ban system. So that's pretty much it as far as fail to ban and IP tables goes. That's the common thing. 
if you're running into something uh, different where you're saying, ah, man, I can't access uh, my server at all, always go to the DigitalOcean console first and take a look at IP tables. Specifically, is the IP address I'm coming from allowed in? And then secondarily, is the IP address I'm coming from banned in one of these jails? If it is, then that's probably your problem. If you're not allowed in IP tables to begin with, try adding yourself. I showed you in another tutorial how to do that. And if neither of those are the problem, but you are truly uh, still not able to do anything, then I would suggest starting to do pings and trace routes. More likely than not, it's an uh, ISP issue uh, if you have no access. Now, if you have access to the front end, but your phones aren't working, um, then you can use some of the asterisk commands that I showed you in one of the other videos as well, as far as looking up your trunk status, your peer status, um, and you can also look on uh, your SIP provider's website to see the status there. Um, really, that's about it. At this point, if you've made it through all of my videos here, you are ready to do your DIY PBX. It should be working, and you even have some references for troubleshooting it. So great job, and we'll see you on the forums. Thanks for sticking around to the end and watching the entire video. Remember, you can find a complete transcript of this video at DIYPBX.com, along with our complete catalog of DIY PBX setup videos. Thanks again for watching, and good luck.